And why has he been persecuted and imprisoned for three years? It's for exposing the war crimes that have been committed in our day. I'm looking now at the Houses of Parliament in the UK. And these represent the building that homes one of the oldest democracies, so-called democracies, I'm afraid to say, in the world. And you know you've got a problem with that democracy when you have to lock away journalists into solitary confinement for revealing uncomfortable truths about war crimes that have been committed, for illegal wars that have been started through lies. We need to take a long and hard look at ourselves in the UK. We have what is called the free press, which is happy to repeat the lies of people in power and authority, so that we do things like go into Iraq and regime change the country, starting off with a battle that we call shock and awe, that destroys people's lives, destroys people's homes. We then, when David Cameron decided to go into Libya, and smash up a country with the highest living standard in all of Africa, all based on lies and oil and resource extraction. We've backed the hideous war, protracted war that's gone on now in Yemen, and we've stirred up endless trouble in Syria as well. We've allowed our allies to renege against the agreement with Iran for them to have peaceful use of nuclear energy. And we re what we're doing is journalists that are reporting the truth, they're not welcome in the UK. We have a bunch of sycophants in the UK press which simply repeat the lies told by people in authority, we need a strong press that can stand up to these lies. We need organisations such as WikiLeaks, established by Julian Assange. But unfortunately, he's been made an example of, so that other brave journalists won't investigate things and print the truth. He's basically being crucified kept in solitary confinement until he dies. I don't believe there's any realistic possibility that his court proceedings will ever conclude. I think the whole plan is to drag them on indefinitely until the man dies, so that the UK can shrug its shoulders and say it was just committing some kind of legal process. We can see through that. The sheer length of time, three years in solitary confinement. And everybody understands that the extradition treaty that the UK has with the United States of America, it excludes extradition for political prisoners. Now, if putting forward information that is critical to the anti-war movement, about the lies used to start the illegal wars. That cannot be said to be apolitical. It's clearly a political act to uncover the lies at the heart of illegal wars. It is not realistic to say that Julian Assange has committed espionage when he's released information that is in the whole public interest, not just in the UK, not just in Australia, but throughout the entire world. Let's stop this nonsense. Let's stop this ridiculous trial. We have the only witness brought forward in this trial is a man called Sigurdor Thordeson. Sigurdor Thordson is on the public record in the Icelandic press on saying he committed perjury in the trial where Julian Assange
Assange was found guilty of hacking something that Julian Assange has never done. It turns out that he gave this testimony as part of a plea bargain because he himself is actually a dark character who has committed sexual offences, I believe at least against nine children, at least one of which has committed suicide as a result of Zygadorf Thornton's actions. So when Priti Patel allows this farce to go on, what she's doing, she's making a mockery of British justice. She's making a mockery of the Houses of Parliament. This should be a democracy where we can have pride, national pride in Britain, in being a fair and just nation. But what it's doing, it's humiliating us. Priti Patel is humiliating the British people. She is bringing a dark shadow across British justice. MPs in the British House of Parliament, find your courage, find your courage and speak up about this. If we do not have a free press that can openly discuss truth without journalists being confined to three years solitary confinement, with a promise to send them abroad to the United States, to face 175 years in solitary confinement for revealing the truth that we have no democracy at all. Lift your heads in pride for your nation that you represent and do the decent thing. Demand British justice throws out this fake case. Julian Assange is an essential asset to the world of journalism and to the anti-war movement. We want to live in a free and fair world without war and unnecessary violence. And that is achieved by opening dialogue, honest dialogue. To have honest dialogue, you need the truth to be made public. When you hide the truth, you have to ask yourself, why? Why do you want to hide the truth? Why punish a man for publishing the truth? And the only answer can be is because you want to hide behind lies. I don't want to live in a country with a parliament where people hide behind lies. Let's free Julian Assange. Free Julian Assange. Let's have a fair system of justice in the British court system. And let's move on to a prosperous country based on truth, where we can have true democracy return, where people in power authority can be accountable for promises that they make to the electorate. Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! There is only one decision! No exclusion! Free Julian Assange! Free Julian Assange! Thank you very much, everybody. Bravo!